Okay, you guys, so I finally sat down last night and watched VHS, and let me tell you, this movie's fucking creepy, okay? Uh, it has, it basically has five short films. I'm only gonna talk about the main three that I kind of enjoyed, kind of. It's gonna be the first, second, and third one. So the first one is about these three, I mean, these guys, um, and they videotape their exploits, you know, like, uh, try to make a, a, a online porn, if you will. Because they go around watching girls, and then when they're by themselves, they go around, they jump them, and they pull their clothes up, and then one of them tapes them, while the other two try, two or three tries to get their clothes up and shit like that. Okay? Um, so basically... All these are videotapes that a couple of guys are watching at this old man's house. They are sent to go retrieve this vi these different types of videotapes until they find the one they're looking for. So that one I just mentioned was the first videotape. Okay. The second one. Oh, the second one was fucking weird. Okay. Three men are at a party. Okay. And they're basically looking for women to go back to take back to a motel room to have sex with. So they find two. Okay. One is a is an Asian, I believe. But um, she's so drunk she passes out. The other one is this little, is this white chick, and she has eyes like this. And she looks at the dude, the dude with the glasses, because the dude with the glasses has a camera inside his glasses, and she just looks at him like this. I like you. I like you a lot. And he's like, okay. That's what I was saying. I was like, okay. What the fuck is, is this going with? I knew something was going to happen with her. But I didn't expect what I was going to see after that. I'm not going to say what it is, but damn. That fucking, that was fucking trippy. Okay. I mean, damn. And it was shot so well. And then the third one that catched my attention was about this two ma these these uh, this married couple, okay? I believe his name was Seth and Stephanie, okay? Um, lots of weird shit is going on, okay? They they go on the, like this little road trip and stuff, and then they go sleep in this room, and at night, somebody with another camera is recording them. Okay, we don't see who it is yet, but we just see them messing with them. They take money out of Seth's wallet. They take a knife and throw it around Stephanie's back, and she moves a little bit, but that was it. And every other night, it'll, that person will keep coming back messing with them. Okay, that was fucking crazy. And then when you finally see what it is and why it's set up that way, you're like... That is some fucked up shit. Okay. I kind of want to talk about the last one a little bit. Because uh, the uh, fourth one wasn't that good. But the last one, it was kind of okay. I think that was probably like my my fourth best one. Uh, but I like the way this this movie is shot. This is like a found footage type horror film. It's like, but even though it's a found footage type horror film, I got the Cloverfield vibe from it because it looks and feels just like a Cloverfield filled movie. You know, especially that second one with that that big ass eyes chick. I like you. Me no like. Me no like. I was like, okay, Jar Jar Binks, you don't like. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is a fucking weird-ass movie. I enjoyed it. It was fucking weird. I, everybody was saying this movie was good. I, I, I put it off for the longest time, because I like, I don't know. I don't see myself watching this. And then they made a part two. So I was like, okay, it's time to get caught up by watching the first one before the second one eventually comes on Netflix. And yeah, what I got was a, was a surprise, and I enjoyed it. So I'm going to give VHS a B. Loved it. Everybody should check this motherfucker out. It is weird. Crazy. 
Can't wait to get that Blu-ray. So let me know what you guys think about VHS down below. Did y'all like it? Did y'all hate it? Let me know down below and I'll catch y'all in a minute. <clears throat>